this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform the installation for ANSYS Electronics Release 18 on the Windows platform. Before proceeding, close all ANSYS applications. Download the ANSYS product files from the ANSYS customer portal. Have administrator access to the installation. Extract the product file to an accessible directory. And note the host name and port of your license server machine. This tutorial will begin in the location of the ANSYS CM18 product extracted files. Double click auto run.exe. This brings up the ANSYS Electromagnetics installation shell screen. The installation shell presents a list of all the software included in the full package. If you need to configure distributed solves to a remote machine without using a scheduler, distributed simulation technologies include the ANSYS Electromagnetics RSM Solve Management Service and supported MPI installations. Layout integrations for ECAD adds ANSYS A-Links menu items and third-party layout tools. For now, click Install Electromagnetics Suite. This launches the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite Windows 64-bit edition dialog. Click Next to continue. Read the ClickWrap software license agreement completely. If you agree to the terms, select Yes to proceed with the installation. Now you can choose where to install the ANSYS CM products on your computer. Accept the default installation directory or you may enter your own directory. Click Next to continue. Next, specify the temporary directory location. This directory will be used as a scratch space for solvers to do their work, so it should be on a fast local disk with adequate free space. Modify the path of your temp directory if required. My preference is to set it to a folder named Scratch. Click Next to continue. Select the option This Local Library Installation. Most users will use the local option. However, if you're working in an environment with a shared set of common libraries, you would set that up here. Click Next to continue. This dialog asks about integrating ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite with the corresponding suite of ANSYS Workbench. In this case, with ANSYS Workbench 18.0. If you have the Workbench already installed and choose Yes, this adds the ANSYS CM Analysis products to the Workbench menu. If you don't want to integrate with ANSYS Workbench right now, you can also do this step at a later time. Select Next to continue. Next, you need to tell your software how to find licensing. You will select from one of the three options. If you have an ANSYS provided license and want to set the preference based on it, select I have a new license file. If you know the machine host name and port of the license server machine, select I want to specify a license server. If you already have licensing set up from a prior ANSYS EM release and want to keep that same configuration, select I want to keep the current license configuration. In this demonstration, we'll specify the license server. Select I want to specify the license server and press next. Enter the license server hostname in the space provided. If your organization is running a redundant triad server configuration, then select the option Specify Redundant Servers and enter the names of all three servers. The idea of redundant servers is to maintain license availability in the event of a hardware failure on one license server. If you're not sure you're using a single or redundant license server, check with your system administrator. Finally, you need to enter the TCP IP port number that the license manager is running on. The ANSYS license manager uses port 1055 by default, but your organization may change that. Check with your systems administrator if you're not sure. Click Next to continue. Now, ensure other Windows applications are closed and review these settings. Notice this dialog gives the available and required disk space. If you are satisfied with the settings, click Next to complete the installation. The Install Shield wizard now installs the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite. This may take a little while. Select OK to continue. After installation completes, you get the option to set up the ANSYS Electromagnetics Remote Simulation Manager. This option launches the installer for the Remote Simulation Manager and automatically registers your ANSYS CM18.0 installation with it. RSM allows your computer to run simulations from a remote machine. Press Finish to exit the dialog. 
The original installation shell window appears now. Press exit to complete the installation. Notice the installation has created desktop shortcuts for the electronics products. This concludes the installation demonstration of the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite 18 on the Windows platform.